are, Gavin. Wretchedly. It's miles from anywhere. No one will find us now. It's getting late. We should make our way to Wretchedly Hall as soon as possible. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any trains back to London forever. Excuse me, dusty old lady. When is the next train to London? She's fast asleep. It looks like she's been waiting for quite some time. Let's go this way, through the treacherous moors. stuck in the mud. I wonder where that came from. I can't reach it. That pedaling machine is stuck deep. It will take a lot of effort to get it out. What a delightful village. Ooh, mind your step, Gavin. Sir, I'm looking for Wretchedly Hall. Wretchedly Hall, you say? You're the third one this week. Lord Wretchedly must be very popular. As long as we keep ourselves to ourselves, he don't bother us. Little Waxsmith, stop being so idle. Ah, Gavin, look at this ruddy-cheeked young country gent. What's wrong with your nose? What's your name, young sir? Little Waxsmith, the blacksmith's son. What is it that you are doing? Playing Kiki Muck. Oh my, a little pony. Ew, it's all slimy. What a curiously doleful beast. That there is a swamp pony. Or... Bug blooder, as we call them, also known as a mud trudger. The air is at home in the mud, is out of it. Looks like it is pining for the swamp. They love frolicking in the swamp. Can cross it with their eyes closed. The slaughtered lamb. I hope they serve tea. It's very cold outside. May we come in? Hmm, you seem familiar. You? What on earth are you doing here? I am an entirely innocent traveller, just out explorating the countryside. I can't talk now. Someone may see. I've left you a message in the toilet. Oh, he has a face like an angry satchel. The name's Doug. I'm a bounty hunter. Ain't nothing good about me. Ooh, bounty hunting. That sounds nice. I travel the world, hunting down things. There's something lurking on those moors, and I'm gonna be the one to catch it. Ah, good evening, barkeep. Not more strangers. Eyes getting fed up with you foreign types. Coming in here, drinking my drinks and buying my food. This tin cup makes the ale taste funny. That's not the cup's fault. Hello, sir. I like your hat. Edwin Gray. Beast hunter, vampire slayer, etc. Quite a resume. What brings you to these parts? Have you heard of the thing that haunts the malls? No? Well, I intend to kill it anyway. I am used to the finer things in life, and I would hardly describe moldy cheese as fine. Take it away. Mm, this cheese is soft and moldy. What an impressive key! This, this is my special bounty hunting key. Can open any lock. You wanna hold it? Go on. Try and touch my key.
Leave me to my brood. What an impressive key! This? You wanna hold it? Say cheese! You cheesed my key. Well, I'll be damned. Don't look so cheesed off. You got something wrong with you, mister. I'd best brie off. I'm just popping to the lavatory, Gavin. Shan't be long. One should always wash your hands when you go to the toilet. Oh, it's rather chilly in here. Ha! Ah, something is written on it. <gasps> A secret message. Meet me under the apple tree. That mysterious stranger has gone. He's left behind a tiny bucket. It's got a hole in the bottom. If you put anything in this broken pail, it would just run away. Here. What's the meaning of all this? Who are you, sir? It's me, Emelina. Emelina? What are you doing here? And why are you in disguise? I'm currently investigating some mysterious happenings on the moors. But that's not important right now. More pressingly, what are you doing out here in the countryside, Bertram? Oh, Emelina, I got arrested for a murdering I did not commit. Ah, yes. I did hear something about that. It wasn't you, was it, Bertram? It certainly was not, Emelina. How could you think such a thing? Of course. But I had to ask. Sometimes people do some crazy things for love. It, what was that? Nothing. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, the day started much like any other. You can skip on a little bit. Oh, pardon me. And as I was leaving Mrs. Dalsworth's house, I saw Jeff the murderer standing over the body of a flower seller. Before I had time to react, he ran off and leapt somewhat incredulously over an impossibly high wall. Then Sherlock turned up and arrested me. I suppose I was standing over a dead body with red ink stains on my hands, and it may have looked slightly suspicious. But it wasn't me, Emelina. I promise. Hmm, near the Dullsworth estate, you say? I'm sure Mrs. Dullsworth would have caught it all on her cameras. But why hasn't she told anyone? We need to prove your innocence. Yes, that would be nice. Maybe I can hack into her CCTV system remotely. Fly, Nathaniel, fly! Hold on one moment. Shouldn't take too long. Ah, here it comes now. Look, Bertram. Photomographs of the murdering. And here is one of you and Jeff. It wasn't you at all, Bertram. Here is your proof, Mr. Fiddle. No one will disbelieve you now. Oh, Emelina! How can I ever repay you? You should head back to London as soon as you can to clear your name. And then you can catch that dastardly Jeff the murderer yourself. I would love to come with you, but I have some unfinished business here to attend to. I'll tell you all about it one day. Mind how you go. There are some strange goings on out here on the moors. And watch out for Lord Wretchedly. I've heard some rather peculiar stories about him. So long, Mr. Fiddle!
A forsaken plank. Never let good wood go to waste, eh? And luckily, it just fits in my pocket. over there! Hello mate, help poor Magwidge out would ya? I seem to be all tangled up in all these old manacles and I can't seem to get them off. They're terribly uncomfortable. An escaped convict! That's very perceptive of you. But I'm not a bad man. I was arrested for stealing a loaf of bread to feed me family. That ain't such a crime, is it? Admittedly, I did stuff the baker in a barrel and push him down the hill. But it was in a fit of anger. And I truly regret it now. And biting the judge. That was a mistake too. But I'm a reformed character now. If you help me out of these rusty old manacles, I'll help you across the swamp. You won't get across the swamp without my help. Now you take care, sir, and don't tell anyone about old Magwitch. Or I'll tear your heart out and eat it. Bellows aren't going very fast. It's no wonder the furnace is cold. Little Waxsmith, look! I have fashioned a seesaw for you to play on. Look, Father, I'm a marsh hopper. Look at little Waxsmith go. Whee! I'm flying! You can plank me later. <laughs> Cora, look at that. Those flames will melt anything now. At last, little Waxsmith has proven useful. It's melting! just waiting to be poured into a mold. A makeshift skeleton key. And now I'm free to murder ya! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, very funny. I bet you regularly have everyone in stitches. I'm trying to get to Wretchedly Hall, but the way seems quite misleading. You ain't gonna make it through the swamp of sadfulness without a map. Lucky for you, I've got one right here. Feast your eyes on this. All you have to do is follow the path on my tattoo. Be careful though, stray from the path and it's curtains for you. I got it done in prison to make crossing the swamp easy.
fits like a sock. Come on, my little pony. Off you clop. I've started a chain reaction. Look at it go. Quick, Gavin, follow that pony. That tree looks like a mermaid. What a rabid ram! It has a crazed look in its eye! Judging by the overgrown state of its fleece, it isn't used to human contact. A gaggle of screaming toads! The noise of these toads is deafening! Welcome to Wretchedly Hall. <laughs> enter, enter. Come dry your bones by my hearth, so to speak. Thank you for your hospitableness, Lord Wretchedly. Oh, not at all, not at all. I'm glad of the company. We seldom get visitors anymore. Since Lady Wretchedly went mad and all the servants disappeared, I have so few people to talk to. My only companion these past few months has been Professor Scuttleworth. And I have a feeling he won't be round much longer. <laughs> but where are my manners? You haven't come all this way to listen to me whiffle on. Lord Arthwipe has told me all about your situation. He has? But do not fret. I know how these things can happen. We all have our dark sides, don't we? I don't know what Lord Arthwipe has told you, but I am quite innocent. And now I have the proof to prove it. Oh, really? Indeed. Tomorrow we shall return to London and find out who this Jeff the murderer is once and for all. Why, of course you shall, of course. But you must be weary. Tonight you must rest. Allow me to show you to your room. There will be plenty of time to explore to... Feel free to treat Wretchedly Hall as your own during your stay. You may go whither and hither, anywhere you please, except for the attic. Don't ever go in the attic. Here is your chamber. I trust it will be to your satisfaction. Here we are, a nice warm bed for you. Now you two just rest up. Oh, if you hear any noises during the night, it will just be the rats in the walls. Did you hear that? A sort of dreadful scratching. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> I am rather sleepy. Ooh, I am suddenly overcome with tiredness.